So, bit of a story video, really. So almost all of you watching this will not know that my daughter isn't very well. Um, she has a type of blood cancer known as leukemia. The diagnosis and the journey of that um, started, I guess, early July, um, and she's been undergoing um, quite intensive chemotherapy since the beginning of August. And certainly from maybe the 1st of July to the end of August, not too sure on time frame wise, sorry, I'm going to skim over that point um, just because I don't really want to talk about it any more than that. Um, so yeah, it's just not nice watching your daughter suffer in such a way. Right? Um, my daughter's not new to scans and medical procedures and... Um, anyway. So, um, between the 1st of July and the end of August, I wasn't really riding the bike, I was, you know, being a dad. So, because of that, um, I felt like, I know, um, I'm going to do something to cheer myself up. I'm going to get something for the bike, because it's feeling a little bit neglected, um, and I just wanted to get myself a bit of a pick-me-up, right? Because um, times, times are hard. So, I look online and I find something that's been annoying me actually since I put that fork on is that I have too many headset spaces underneath. I don't have enough of the bigger headset spaces um, and there's lots of little ones and it was annoying me. Um, and I came across Wolf Tooth headset spaces online and they do a 30mm as their biggest and I have a total of 40mm requirement for headset spaces. So I thought I could buy a 30 and a 10 millimeter and um, that would literally look amazing compared to the ridiculous amount of headset spaces that's on there at the moment so i ordered them online i ordered them with a company that um i've never ordered with before but they weren't too much of an expensive item so it's kind of a risk reward thing i really wanted them it's the only place in europe i could find them um, read a few reviews online, said, you know, it's not great, it takes a long time to turn up, the service is rubbish, but, um, you know, there wasn't anyone there complaining that they didn't get anything, they only complained that it took a long time to get it. So I ordered them at um, the end of August, maybe two or three weeks later, sent an email, no reply, um, so I'm thinking, oh, I ordered these to pick me up. And I actually ordered them um, in purple because um, that was the coolest colour of the 90s, uh, purple anodized aluminium. So um, I thought, why not? I'll cheer myself up by ordering myself a purple seat punch clamp. And I was like, no, I'm just going to go on AliExpress, find a cheap one and see what it's like. You know, give it a try, right, before I go and spend a lot of money um, on an alternative one from a bike company. So, went online, found one, ordered it, stupidly ordered it, the same size as my seat post, not my frame, um, I'll take a cell phone on that one, and I guess the point here is, even, even though it turned up in the wrong size, it turned up and I still didn't have these headset spaces from Belgium, which is a lot closer than China, right? Um, so anyway... Um, I ordered some other things from AliExpress as well. I ordered some um, disc brake bolts and a couple of other bits that have turned up to sort of complete the look. Still, no headset spaces. So I guess the beginning of this month, where we're now, October. Uh, so no, mid-month, sorry, middle of this month, middle of October. And I'm like, well, I know, like, the headset spaces haven't turned up. I, I can't find an equivalent headset spacer, which is really annoying me. But do you know what? Um, that rear brake I brought, the Magura, I just brought one of them because I wanted to try it out. And actually, I've been beyond impressed with it. And I was wondering about whether to go for an MT5 in the front, which is like a four-pot brake up front. But after running the MT2 um, two-pot brake at the back for a number of, um, I don't know, a while now, 
I was like, no, that's definitely good enough broken power for me, so I'm going to order one. So the day before I ordered, I looked and there were five in stock. I was like, great. I don't know why I didn't order it. I just went back to it the next day. I guess there were plenty in stock, I guess. Went back to it the next day, placed my order, hit return, got an email, and it was like, thanks for ordering. Expected delivery date the 7th of December. And then run out of the brakes. So now, the thing I brought to cheer myself up hasn't arrived and last time I checked the website um, my account no longer exists on the website so my account doesn't exist on the website they haven't responded to emails I think I've pretty much lost that money now it's one of those things where the, the value is too low to make a claim um, so you know goodbye money I'll never see again so I ordered the seat post clamp which turned up in record time in the wrong size due to my own stupidity and then finally, I order these Magura brakes to cheer myself up um, <laughs> to, you know, whatever, a month and a half later. Still not cheering me up uh, because I've got a delivery date of December. Dark times uh, in MTB, right? And then I got an email to tell me, oh, a new expected delivery date on your Magura brakes the 31st of October. And I was like, oh, oh, that makes me a little bit happy. And then I got an email last night. Brakes dispatched. And I was like, oh, I should have them by Thursday this week. Well, that's remarkably better. Um, just a shame that the headset spaces won't turn up, right? So, I guess under normal circumstances, these are just the small trials and tribulations of, um, um, you know, messing about with MTBs. Uh, unfortunately, I'd placed this on, I'd placed these items, the, 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 the placing of the order on these items were also a place um, on a way to cheer me up and um, it didn't really help much, um, just sort of stressed me out on where's my order for a, a month and a half, but hey, I've got the brakes coming I've got a new seat post clamp on the way um, and then next month at some point in a few weeks, I don't know, um, I'm still not decided on what I want to do but then I'll buy a saddle and once I've replaced that saddle there'll be no factory parts on my mountain bike other than the aluminium frame. Everything else would be um, you know, something that I've brought or placed on there. So that'll be a that'll be a cool moment in time, so that's something to look forward to. But yeah. Does NTB cheer you up? Because um mm, This isn't how this video was supposed to end. I was supposed to jump cut to me in like a forest with the bike. And it was like, does MTB make you happy? Because I oh, love it. Here's what happened. Brakes turned up two days early on a Tuesday. I've got a tiny bit of time, yeah? Time's precious to me. So, I like, quickly take them out of the box, put them on the bike, cut the cable, go to reconnect the um, shortened cable to the brake lever. It's not going in. I wrestle with it for like an hour. Um, I'm, I'm in that thing where I'm not really thinking. I don't step back and think, what's the problem here? What, I'm just stuck in it and, I, and I'm just getting more and more frustrated with the less and less time I have to fix this problem. So anyway, I give up. I take the whole thing up. I know I've lost fluid. I know I'm no longer going to get away with not bleeding these brakes. <sighs> so, um, I wake up the next morning and I'm like, oh, I know what's happened. The olive, which is um, one of the pieces that goes into the lever, must have two pieces, right? Like an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve. And one of those sleeves must be stuck in um, the lever. So I untape it all, take the lever off, pull this out, put the line in, goes on straight away. Sometimes it drives me nuts, man. 
Drop some crazy.